if you wanted to add an FIQ, this is like totally optional, I can add it and hit into edit your side. And now we are into the editor of the famous Wix. If you focus into the left part, you have all the elements that you can add, edit and check it out about your actual custom page. Into the upper side, we have different elements, for example, side, settings for our domains, uh, developer mode, we can hire a professional if you want to. And a little bit more into the right, we have the upgrade version to save, preview and into published. And down here into the center, with we do have the preview of how it's going to be looking our actual website. So what I just wanted to do here is to just fill the information that I wanted to see and I don't want it to see. So I believe it's a little bit more easier to delete elements that you don't want to see. For example, let's say that I have this product. I want to hit into more actions and hit into delete. Scroll a bit down, three dots, and into delete like this. So I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing with all the elements that I do not want to see. Now, if I wanted to edit what's inside in this section, just hit into quick edit and just have to just click into the elements that you wanted to edit. For example, this title, I'm going to change it for the best ice maker so far. And here I have this new section. So I'm going to just try to change it uh, later. Now manage my columns, I can choose to edit the element that appears in here. For example, let's go and focus into the actual layout. I change the column background and in this case, since I wanted to talk about this ice maker, I'm going to save this image and hit into change the background. And here is my actual product. I can do exactly the same thing. Uh, with more images like for example this one and all of that so I scroll all my way down and let's say that I wanted to add a button that says buy now so I can go into the plus add element and here focus into button and here I want to go and look out for this one I put this down here there we go and I wanted just to change the text and the icon for example, let's go for buy now, link to two. I paste my custom link into web address and hit into done. And there you have it. Now, if you wanted to change your home, your FIQ, your shop, different pages, you wanted to focus first of all into the loved part that you have here, the ad section, pages and menus, and this one should be bringing you into the elements you wanted to edit. Click into the one that you wanted to edit, then after you are in here, just hit into edit and hit into save. After you're okay with everything, just hit now into published. So go into save and continue, published and view your site just to see how it's going to be looking at the end of the day. So as you can see, this is how we can make a landing page really, really easy. And this button of buy now should be bringing me into the Amazon product. So it is actually working and it's actually working really, really great. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. We now know how to get started with some landing page. We can do much more than that in a free way into Wix. So it's totally up to you just to check it out. What are the other elements you can do? But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools, how we can get started here into Wix. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully I can see you on the next video.